Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I have a haul for you guys today. I'm gonna show you some things that I got from Zara, H&M, Sephora, and even a little haul from Cody. I'm gonna show you two things that he got from H&M. If you're new here and you're just stumbling upon my channel, I am a YouTuber from Dallas, Texas, and I make videos here by myself, also with my fiance, Cody. So I would love for you to hit that subscribe button below and keep on watching. So Cody and I went to the mall and my birthday is actually two weeks from today So I decided that I just wanted to spoil myself a little bit and kind of just treat myself to some purchases I feel like it is good to save your money, but every once in a while I just like to like Splurge a little bit. I had some gift cards to Sephora that I wanted to use. So I'll go ahead and start with what I got from Sephora. Zara will be at the end. I'm so excited about my Zara purchases. So make sure to stay out to the end of the video to see what I got from Zara. All right, so like I mentioned, I got some things from Sephora. I used a gift card. I got three things. Really the only thing that I needed from there is new face wash. This is the First Aid Beauty, Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I didn't know that they come in a bigger bottle. So this is an eight ounce. And whenever I go to Ulta, I always grab the five ounce. So I didn't know it came bigger. So I got this one. This one retails, I want to say it was 33 or 34. So it is obviously more expensive, but this is the best face cleanser. The Tula one and this one are pretty similar in line. They're hard to beat guys, but this one is like my all time favorite cleanser. Definitely go check it out if you're wanting a good face cleanser for your sensitive skin. Another thing that I've been needing is a bronzer. I like haven't been using bronzer and now that it's like getting into the middle of winter, I'm like so pale. So I have just been like way too lazy to put on self tanner. So I got a bronzer finally. This is just the Benefit Hulu bronzer and it's just like a classic favorite by everyone. I was choosing between this one and the NARS Laguna bronzer. I've used both and I've loved both of them. The NARS one was more expensive, so overall I just went with the cheaper one, which was the Hulu bronzer. But this is like a cult classic, like way back in the day. I remember when they released this, like back in the day when I was in like seventh or eighth grade, like super into makeup. And this one, everyone was freaking obsessed with their little boxes. Overall, I used it today and it's just like a natural glowy bronzer. All right, the last thing that I picked up from Sephora, I'm so excited about. It's the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. I have been wanting to try this out for months, but I've just haven't been able to get myself to spend $28 on a little thing of lip products. But since I had a pretty good gift card, I just went ahead and purchased it. It looks like this, and it comes with this little gold spoolie. I was kinda shocked whenever I opened it how like small the little hole is to dig out of it. I don't know if it like gets bigger as you go down. Down right now over some like Tarte, Tarte of the Sea lipstick in Rum Punch, something like that. And it looks really good. It just adds like a nice little shine on top of anything or you can wear it by yourself. So far I really like it. It doesn't really have a scent to me. It says that it's a Japanese peach lip jelly. So I kind of expected it to have a peach scent but I have a really bad smell anyway, so maybe it does and I just can't smell it. Overall, it goes on really nicely. I also talk about the um, Laneige, however it's spelled, L-A-N-E-I-G-E, -E, their le lip sleep mask compared to this, so I'm gonna try it out. I like the other one, I have vanilla, and I don't notice that my lips are really that soft when I wake up in the morning, so I'm interested to see if this one is any better. All right, that's what I got from Sephora. Just like a quick little little haul from them. I like forget how expensive beauty products are. I had like a pretty Pretty good amount of gift card and I still ended up Having to spend some of my own money. So I forget how expensive makeup and beauty products are when you like just get whatever you want I'm gonna show you what we got from H&M now. I only got one thing, but Cody picked out two items. He like never shops for clothes, guys, and I'm so proud of him because we went in, we picked out some things, trying to deepen his horizons with his style. He grew up really just wearing like button-up flannels, polos, jeans, and like cowboy boots. 
And like, we need to bring some more like neutral vibes into your closet because it's not happening at the moment. He's been really into the neutral palette along with me. And I love this color hoodie that we picked out. He has this hoodie already in a beige color and he loves it. He literally wears this thing, guys, every single day. So he picked it out in this light blue color. I think he got the XL, yeah. I just love this blue. Blue is his favorite color. I'm pretty sure like half of his closet is different shades of blue. So I'll have him try this on and show you guys because I really, really like this. It's soft and their hoodies are really inexpensive. I wanna say this was $24. And if you're looking for a nice hoodie, Zara has freaking bomb hoodies. I think they're a little bit better quality than the H&M ones and they're not that much more expensive. All right, the second thing that he got from H&M is this beige crew neck. It's a little bit more, so it's a regular fit. So it's a little bit not as like bigger and like boxier. I like this material. It's almost like kind of like a knitted jersey material. And I thought this would be a really cute layering piece over like a collared shirt that he could have like sticking out. Just like layering, he needs more layering things. He likes to layer like flannels over hoodies and stuff like that. So we're trying to get him more like basic, just things to have in his closet. I'll have him try this stuff on and let you guys see what it looks like. I am so pumped about this find from H&M. I walked in and their whole front section was just like the cutest neutrals, beiges, brown, just like section and I wanted everything, but I had to control myself. So I, but there was a pair of shoes of chunky sneakers in the front on display and there was two left and one of the two were in my size and then the other pair were like in a size six. I wear a nine and a half and I knew it was a sign that I had to get them. I've been wanting chunky sneakers forever, but oh my gosh, they're just like chunky dad sneaks, super thick chunky heel. You literally just slip them on. You don't even have to untie them. The shoestring is like a beige and gray like rope. They're so cute. This one actually had like a brown mark on the side, so I got 10% off and then on top of that they were having like a if you sign up online for their email then you get an additional 10% off so guys I got these for $40 this is like the best wine I've ever had in my life I'm so pumped about these sneakers I'm definitely gonna be styled these bad boys on my Instagram so go check them out and see how I styled them okay the moment that you've all been waiting for my Zara haul I got three items and every time I go into Zara, I just feel more and more inspired to like amp up my wardrobe. I always see like super trendy, cute outfits on TikTok and I'm like, I need those things. Like where are they from? How can I get them? And I swear it's always from Zara. I have such a hard time shopping on Zara. You know the issue, I'm sure you have it too. But every time I go in the store, I find like 20 things I need. That happened this time, but I ended up just picking out three and I'm really excited about them. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna start with a chocolate brown item. Chocolate brown right now is like the color, best color ever. I probably will end up selling um, all the items in my closet and replacing them for chocolate brown. So um, stay tuned for that video. I actually almost bought this on the website and refrained because girl, I refuse to pay for shipping. So when I walked in, this is one of the first things I saw. It is a chocolate brown hoodie with like a waistband on the bottom. I got it in a size small. They run pretty big. I'm like obsessed. I actually wore this to wash my face last night. So I got some soap on the hoodie. I freaking love it. I They have matching sweatpants online and I'm like, do I get them? No, I won't because I will not pay for shipping. I'm obsessed. Next are these jeans. I almost didn't get these pants because I didn't see them at first. I like picked out three items. It was two and then another top that I did end up getting because I wasn't like excited about it. The line was really long so I like told Cody to get in line with my stuff and I was just gonna do like a quick run around again, peruse, see if I missed anything. And I'm so glad that I did because if you are on TikTok then you have seen these pants 
They're the wide leg high rise pant with the cutout in the knee. And they're so cute. What? So they're wide leg, like I said, super flattering high rise. Pretty much in all stores right now, you can't try clothes on. I always get so nervous about jeans, especially from Zara. I have yet to have a good experience with trying on jeans until now. These fit so good. So normally I'm between a six and a four. I got a size six. Thank the Lord that I did because any smaller, these would not be fitting this girl. They fit perfectly. I tried on that chocolate sweatshirt and these jeans. <gasps> Stay tuned guys. That outfit is just really pumped about this. And then the last thing that I got from Zara, I had to hop on the trend of the super cropped sweater. I did pay for this. I already like, no, I cannot wear this in front of my grandparents because they're going to be asking if I cut this myself or if I actually paid for this but I think I'm just gonna wear it with like a cute cropped tank underneath and like call it a day guys I have to hop onto this trend um they had the one that was with like the sweater neck that was like really cut but I thought this one was just cuter more subtle you know I think I can get away with it just a little bit better I got this in a size small it's only $17 guys well technically 18 but hey I have one last thing to show you. Hold on. Yeah, I kind of forgot about this and I wasn't planning on showing this, um, but I got a camera and I'm so pumped. I've been wanting this since I started my YouTube channel. Like if you're a vlogger or if you make videos on YouTube, then you're probably using this camera, but I got the Canon G7X Mark II. I'm so excited to film my videos on this. If you have one of these and you're you know, still watching this video, let me know what camera stand you use for this because I need one. So I don't think I'm gonna use this yet until I get a new computer because I have the um, MacBook Air and it's just like so annoying for editing and making videos. So I'm really excited about this camera. Let me pull it out and show you guys. But here she is guys. Who is she? All right, you guys, that is everything that I got in my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, hit that subscribe button and come join the family. I love you guys so much and I'll see you later. Bye.